CBS Sports HQ presented by Crown Royal this season. Crown Royal supporting local communities that service off the field at kickoffwithcrown.com. Ryan Wilson, Jonathan Jones coming in. All right, Chargers Raiders, winner is in. If you're a Charger fan, like, is this okay that this is where you are coming into this week? Or did you expect more here, JJ? No, I'm, I'm very upset if I'm a Chargers fan that it comes down to this big rivalry game in Week 18. Listen, do I love if I'm a Chargers fan that we have a chance, that we could be in the playoffs with a first-year head coach, a first-time head coach with a second-year quarterback? Okay, but in the context of what this season has been and really where you were eight days ago before you faced the Houston Texans, no, you don't like that it is you have to beat a Raiders team that's playing really good football right now in order to get in. Listen, they had a good game today against the Denver Broncos team that EK, you and I both really, since what, week three of the NFL season, said, okay, 2-0, and 3-0, and but are they for real? Probably not. We've always thought they were pretenders. And at this point, now that they're down Teddy Bridgewater and they have Drew Locke and they've sort of packed it in, and frankly, Vic Fangio may not even be there uh, in a couple of weeks, that so what if you beat them they missed an opportunity last week against the Houston Texans so you know again it, it's sort of talking out of both sides of my mouth good for them that they are able to get into the playoffs with a win next week but bad for them that it takes a rivalry win next week to get into the playoffs based on how this season was going for them yeah Ryan if you look at the Chargers season to date and they come down to you have to win next week and you're in the playoffs but you got to do it on the road against Vegas like if you look at the Chargers, they haven't been a great team, haven't had a winning season, but they did have expectations with Justin Herbert. Give me a grade for the Chargers season up until right now, knowing that next week's going to have a lot to do with that final grade. B minus, B minus. Uh, the offense has done really well. The defense less so. In fact, prior to this game, the seven previous games, the defense had allowed at least 21 points, and that's a tough way to find any sort of consistency. J.J. mentioned uh, that Houston loss, which is hard to wrap your brain around. They lost to the Vikings, a team that's not very good. They've had some head scratchers. They lost to Denver the first time they they met. Uh, no Drew Locke there, and that probably had something to do with it, of course. But if you want to take something away from this game, at least the defense showed up. Again, Drew Locke has not been as advertised as a second-round pick. We can all agree on that. But we've seen games, and I go back to that Steelers game, where the Steelers were going toe-for-toe, toe, Big Ben versus Justin Herbert, and if this were 2009, that would make some sense. Uh, not so much in 2021 and now 2022. So I, I think the good news is that the offense is clicking. We know Brandon Staley is going to be extremely aggressive no matter what. And perhaps that'll play uh, to his favor and his team's favor as we move towards next week. But as J.J. noted, the Raiders are sneaky pretty good. We haven't spent a lot, a lot of time talking about them. And when we have, it's mostly been for bad reasons. Uh, so this is going to be a great matchup, a great test uh, for Justin Herbert, who somehow is the touchdown leader on a franchise that has Phil Rivers and Dan Fouts before him. And that's great news. The other side of the coin is that we know Derek Carr can make things happen. And this defense, this Chargers defense, is going to have to find a way to get off the field. If they don't, there's a good chance they lose that game next week. So that'll be something to watch as well. All right. So I'll go back to you, Ryan, first. Then, J.J., you can jump in. It's early. You got a whole week. But right now, the game is in Las Vegas. Who do you have? I say to you, even money. Right on the line. Let's call it a pick em. You want the Raiders at home or do you want the Chargers? Which team and why? Ryan Wilson. I'm rolling with the Chargers. I, I have a love affair for Brandon Staley and Justin Herbert. And every time I talk about Justin Herbert, I have to apologize because I did not expect him to play this well based on the way he played at Oregon. And he has been absolutely lights out. And the only person or persons more upset about Justin Herbert than me are probably Miami Dolphins because they took Tua Tonga-Vailoa. So I think they're going to go in there. They're going to deal an offense. They'll get the running game going with Austin Eckler. They'll have that balance. And Brandon Staley, who's a defensive guy, will have to find a way to get that defense to play well consistently because as we saw today in Indianapolis, the Raiders can sputter offensively. Derek Carr can make some bad throws, but he shows up in the final two to three minutes and he will have that team close. So the, the Chargers cannot have a slip up. They cannot have uh, touchdowns where guys are running wide open. They have to play well defensively. The offense will show up. It'll be on Brandon Staley to make that defense, make sure that defense shows up next week against the Raiders. Yeah, I think Ryan and I are in the same boat here where I'm not entirely sure that the Chargers team that showed up today is going to show up 
next week against the Raiders, just like I don't know that the Chargers team that showed up last week against the Texans was going to show up this week. And so I, I don't know. The fact is, this is not a defense that I feel very comfortable about uh, going deep into January. This is a team that, okay, they only allowed – uh, three of 11 third down conversions against the Broncos. Last week, it was six of nine against the Houston Texans. They let Rex Burkhead have a career year, uh, a career day against them, really, in, in some seasons, a year for Rex Burkhead. Um, and now they were able to bottle up Melvin Gordon and Javante Williams. And so uh, they've been up and down, and it's not a team that you can trust. And so I picked the Chargers, but I picked the Chargers because we spent time there back at training camp. And I, I, I like what I've seen from Brandon Saley. We obviously would take Justin Herbert over Derek Carr if there were a draft tomorrow. Anyone in his right mind would do that. And so I'm taking the Chargers, but I'm also taking the Chargers saying, you know what, the team that has been through the ringer, the team that has shown me that when it gets down to the fourth quarter and it's a one-possession ball game, this team can win, has actually been the Raiders so far this season. It's going to be incumbent on Brandon Staley, as Ryan mentions, to get that defense together in a gotta-have-it game. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. And whoever ultimately is the person who decided that the final week of the year is going to be all division games, it's been that way for several years now, they get a big round of applause because it's exciting that you know these games often will come down to head-to-head -head matchups, deciding who makes the playoffs or winning the division. And in this case, Chargers-Raiders, winner is in, loser is out. Well done.